welcome back to the vlog. Today is another kind of important day, date-wise, because it is June 6th, and on this whole, oh, I'm overexposed for a moment. So today is another special day. Um, not, not a, it's not a personal special day. This is actually a very historical day. It is June 6th, and for those of you who know your history, June 6th is the day that Operation Overlord went into effect, aka D-Day. The Allied invasion of Nazi Germany was today, back in 1944. And I think that's interesting. So, I'm meeting up with Tyler, Mr. T-Bird. We are going to go fly the Iron Jungle today on this historic of days. So, uh, yeah, let's go fly. And so, because today is D-Day, I figured what better place to go flying than the Iron Jungle. Because this place is a doomsday spot if I've ever seen one. I mean, look at all this. Look at all this metal and stuff. So for analog, this is like multi-path central. And um, if you, there's like some wires and stuff hanging here. I mean, there's plenty of things that you can dive. There's gaps everywhere. But if you get one thing wrong, you are into the ground and there is a bunch of iron shavings in the ground here. So that iron will get into your motors. And if, if you can't take your motors apart, well then, oh, they're a pain in the butt to clean. While I'm waiting for T-Bird to get here, I want to show y'all the trick that I'm going to attempt to do today. So last time I was here, I did a power loop. I didn't put this particular power loop in the video, but I did it over this bridge, that bridge right there. But when I pulled back on the stick, I noticed that I was looking straight down and the bottom of my quad was basically perfectly lined up with this bridge. So a few days ago, I got a brilliant idea. Why can't I power loop this bridge, transition over to this one, and as I'm diving down, do a Matty flip underneath this. That is decided, you know, hey, let's take it one step further. So after I Matty flip that, as I'm coming back up, you know, this way, I'm gonna transition over the bridge, and then right here, there's a big shaft dive. This dive is what I'm talking about. It's actually pretty easy to line up, um, because you've, you've got a bunch of space in your work with, but if you hit anything, oh buddy, you're screwed. Um, so, the plan today, the trick I'm going to do today is power loop this, Maddie flip this, and then transition and dive down this. That's my goal for today. While we're here, um, this spot, I actually got featured in Impulse RC's, um, uh, Instagram thing for their for their weekend challenge. They had it. They said like, "Hey, we want people to like perch on stuff." So I got this bloody idea. Hey, why don't I perch on this thing? So I did. <laughs> then while I was sitting up there, I was thinking, "Hmm, do I dive to the left and play it safe, or do I dive to the right and dive down this shaft?" And uh, well, I'll show you which one I chose. <laughs> It was by far the scariest thing I've pulled off in FPV to date. But I think this whole power loop Maddie flip thing might be, no, it, it's gonna be scarier. It's gonna be scarier. So I brought my tiny trainer with me today. Um, the reason being is because um, I want to get in some practice doing the trick with this guy first before I transition over and start using the five inch quad. This is a great tool for not only racing, but also training for freestyle maneuvers.
is historically? No, what is today? It's June 6th. D-Day, Operation oh, Overlord, right. World War II. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, I mean, what what better way to, to remember D-Day than by flying at like one of the gnarliest spots known to man? D-Day, the Iron Jungle. What? It's also my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Nathan. Do you mind being in the vlog? No, not at all. Okay, cool. So yeah, he's got a Mavic Mini that he's gonna try. Thankfully the wind's not that bad, so. So I got what I wanted to get, but um, my quad's doing something a little weird now. It's like kind of dipping to one side. So it might be a motor or I might have destroyed the four in one ESC. I'll have to look at it when I get home. So I'll be flying the cinematic, my cinematic reverb the rest of the day, which is fine. Next spot. All right, so we're at spot number two, Templa Doom behind me. And then we've also got this fun little thing this fun little situation to play around with the uh, tiny trainer. flown everything that we want to fly here we're gonna go back to the iron jungle because there's something that i want tyler to try okay so we're back at the iron jungle so i want tyler to fly something that uh well you'll see tyler is gonna fly this thing so this is the blade mach 25 this was like my very first five inch jump this is what i learned to fly five inch quads on so now mr t-bird over here is gonna fly it and let's we'll, we'll uh We'll see what he thinks. Both y'all, both sticks in like that. Arms it. Here's an arm switch here. Okay. This will be my first time uh, trying to jump around too. Okay. All right. And you've got you've got voltage in your OS. You've you've got a basic OSD because it's a it's a Swift two. So you'll at least be able to monitor your battery voltage. Yeah. That's weird. yeah. So like just just take it easy. <laughs> All right. You're live. And just, just very... There's one on the corner right here to disarm, right? Yep. 
Yeah, just flick it up to disarm. If you want to try it out, you can. Jesus, bro, the rates. <laughs> yeah, I know, you can't change them. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude, I, I don't feel like the throttle is consistent either. Yeah, it's a little weird. You might not go very far because you don't have diversity. It's literally an antenna zip tied to a standoff. Dude, this is bad. <laughs> I know! Did you learn how to fly on this? Yes, I did. Oh my god. This is what I learned to fly on. And it's... Dude, it's like bobbing all over the place. I know! I know. Well, no, but like it's 3S. You can't plug it up to the computer to tune it. Did you just fail safe? I did, but I recovered it. Okay, yeah, why don't you come back towards us? Because, uh, yeah, I want to give this thing a go. Oh my god. Yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? All right, hey, wait. Uh, will you flick the switch for me? Yeah, come in low, 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 low. Now. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I think I'd probably have an easier time, like, flying a log. Quite easily the worst, the worst flying quad I've ever touched. Exactly, yeah. Um, it's awful I mean, compared to today. Point, I was literally, like, full plastic. Mm -hmm. Just to keep it up in the air on a straight line. Yeah, but but the thing is though, I here's know it's 3S, and I know it weighs a million pounds, but dude, it, it flies. But out. here's the thing: this came out in 2015. In 2015's quad flew like crap. So compared to stuff in 2020, this is like a five-year-old drone. I do like the gimbals on your jumper, though. Thank uh, you. Uh, out of anything, I would say that this is probably my favorite part of flying. <laughs> All right, so this is Nathan. Hello. Nathan is kind of new to flying drones, and now he's gonna fly this thing for the first time. So, we'll, we'll wait for this truck. So, yeah. so to arm it, you go, actually it's kind of, it's just like arming the Mavic, so you go full stick in. Whoops, I'm sorry, hold on. So this switch has to be down. Okay. You go in like that, and it starts, and to disarm, you flip up. So flip it's up, okay. Yeah, so all the way down, this to arm, and then this switch to disarm. Okay. So, you should see video. Yeah, I do, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, so. So this down? Yep, so that down, all the way in. Yep, okay, you're armed. And just, just take it at your own pace. Oh, oh. yeah, you're good. It doesn't fly like a man. No, it doesn't, it flies awful. Kill it! Shit. I got it. <laughs> so you're still thinking that this is your problem? I mean, I'm still an uncle. Would it, would it be more helpful if I look at it like um, line of sight first and get it up? Yeah, if you want to try line of sighting it, sure. Okay, so I'm just going to press up on the throttle and then go forward. And then you yeah. Oh. You're good. You're good. You're good. You got it. You got it. He's up. He's up. Oh my god. Kind of see the... Yeah, it's a, it's a bit underpowered. Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. You're good. You're good. Let me hey, see if the... pretty good, man. Yeah. Well, oh, we lost the blade. We lost the prop. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather get like a super cheap one and like fly around it first. Yeah. But, 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 but like, to be, to be fair, like this quad is awful. Like the quads him and I were flying today, they don't fly like this. No. This is like old 2015 technology. That's why it flies so awful. <laughs> well, I could tell the second I had it up, I was just trying to hover it, and I was just doing things I was not telling him. Well, yeah. Exactly. yeah. I'm All right, right. Let's, uh, let's see how, yeah, let's see how, if I can even do anything with this. Okay, we're armed. No arm thing, no nothing. Oh god. Ah! Oh god! Oh, the raids suck! Yeah. And there's people over there again. Yeah. And, and I'm like giving it full. Oh gosh! Oh, ah! Ah! Oh, the wire! The wire! I know. I know. Holy moly. Okay. Let's uh, let's start pushing it. This thing is just all over the place. It's like the. RC rate in the center stick. Ah! It's too low. And this thing, like, it needs a massive pit tune. 
It's like the all the pits are like cut in like it's like a fourth of what they should be. But it was really bad, dude. I can barely keep it in here. I know, and I'm bloody scary. Oh god. Ah, ah, oh god. <laughs> thing flew pretty horrible and now it's probably gonna fly even more horrible because look I've got tri blades in the front fly blades in the back because I'm out of like this is the only way I can make this thing flyable so we're gonna walk over there's a dive gap here I'm gonna see if I can dive it with this 3S underpowered claw okay, well, here goes nothing just say goodbye quads alright That was quick. Yeah, the prop fell off. Dang, I think I might not have, I don't think I have any more. Well, hold on, let me go Let me go see if the other prop will work. So does that just keep popping off? Yeah, because it's just friction fit. So if I give it some friction back and I tighten everything down, theoretically, it should all stay together. Now it shouldn't fly off and explode, hopefully. All right, let's just do this and get it over with. All right, so it works. But it's gonna fly like crap. Oh gosh, it flies even worse. Okay, oh gosh. Okay, let's just... All right, sick. Where's it going? It's just going right. Oh. oh my gosh! I did it! I dove it! It was horrible! But I know it! Oh my gosh! Oh, well, it's even at the very, very tippity top. Oh gosh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah! I blew out of it. Oh my gosh, this is dumb. This is so dumb. Come on. I want the full dive. Take it back, this thing's not getting destroyed. All right, let me see if I can do an orbit. See if I can orbit us with this atrociously flying quad. Just stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> yeah, well, how did that look light of sight? <laughs> Pretty good. Wow, I can't believe it. This thing actually survived. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what? I was expecting this thing to like explode in a ball of fire, but nope. Survived. <laughs> okay, well, it's going home in one piece. I can tell you that much. That was just stupid. So I know that dive was less than perfect, and I'm not one to disappoint. I still have my cinema quad, so I'm gonna end this vlog on some beautiful cinematography of the Iron Dome. <laughs>